In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a cover for our digital magazine. This is part two. In the toolbar, we need to access this tool here. It's called the Rectangle Frame Tool. I'm going to select the tool and I'm going to put a frame over the whole page from top left to bottom right. It will have a cross in the middle of it. This frame enables me to place images or text in a specific area and I want to place my cover image in here. To do so, I need to go to File, Place. I've already saved my cover image. I downloaded it earlier from Unsplash. I'm using this image here and I'm going to open the image. Now my image has come in and filled the whole space. I can't see the edges of it. To rectify that, I can go to Object, Fitting, Fill Frame Proportionally and you can see my image is loaded. To help me when I'm editing, I'm going to open the Properties palette. And if it doesn't open for you, go to Windows, Find Properties and click on it and it should open here. You can tear that palette off and move it anywhere on your screen and you can pop the other ones back in. I usually work with my palette on the right. I now want to go to Photoshop. With Photoshop open, I want to go to File, Open, and I want to find exactly the same image that I've just opened in InDesign. And here it is here, Open. Go to Window, Layers, and you can see my Layers palette is here. I want to make a copy of the background layer. Right click, Duplicate Layer. Background copy is fine, OK that. I want to make sure I save this background copy. It is locked, but I'm also going to click on the eye here and turn it off. And I'm going to work on this copy of the background. If I make any errors, I've still got my original image here. I now want to erase the background, and there's a couple of ways of doing that. In the tools on the left hand side, I can use the eraser tool with a large brush on it to erase the background. It can be fiddly, but it gets rid of large areas. Um, my brush size is quite large. I can adjust it here and the hardness I can adjust here to be very soft or I can slide it up again to be harder. Another way to erase the background is to use the magic wand tool and click on an area. Now this works very well if you've got a background that's a single color. Click on the magic wand tool and then click on the color that you wish to erase. Then right click and you're going to select similar. And that should select pretty much everything that's pink. Hit delete and it's deleted everything there for you. Control D to deselect. Another way to delete the background is to choose the quick selection tool. Now I've made a selection here but I want to add to it. So to add to it I hold down the shift key and keep dragging through some of those areas that are pink. It works very similarly to the magic wand tool. Hit delete to delete the background. I'm not too worried about these pink sections in her hair because I'm really focused on making sure that her head can overlap my masthead. I'm going to control D to deselect. If you are using the eraser tool and make sure you get the correct tool, you will need to zoom in and zoom out and you can use the eraser tool in a much smaller fashion to delete some areas. But I do think the best option really is the magic wand tool. Click on the area, the color that you want to delete. And if you wish to add to it, hold the shift key down and then select some of the other colors or right click and click on similar. And that will collect everything of a similar color. Hit delete, control alt zero. And you can see I have got my background removed from my cover model. File, save as. I'm going to call this cover model no background 
And I'm also going to select the image type. I want to save it as a PNG and that will maintain the transparent background. Click on Save, click on OK, and then we're going back to InDesign. Go to the Windows tab at the top, click on the Layers palette and open it. At the bottom of the Layers palette, and mine's quite long, I'm just going to shorten it, there are a couple of icons. This icon adds a new layer and this icon deletes a layer as long as it's selected. So on layer two, I have nothing at the moment. On layer one, I have my original image. I want to make sure that I'm on layer two active and I want to put another rectangle frame over the whole canvas. I'm now going to file place and I'm going to find the image I've just saved, cover model, no background, PNG. Open that. Again, it's come in huge, so I'm going to right click, fitting, fill frame proportionally. If I turn layer one off, you can see I'm left with my, if you can see I'm left with my cover model with no background and layer two.